Hey guys, stick around and find out what I thought of Ipsy for the month of November. You might be surprised. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Mandy. For those of you who are just joining, thank you for coming to see my video and welcome. I hope you decide to subscribe before you leave. We're just going to go ahead and jump in, guys. Alright guys, y'all know I do this every month. I wait from three days to a week on my after I get my Ipsy to do a review so I can tell y'all if I like the products, if they work for me, or if they didn't. But first of all, the bag, I love it. I still wanted the yellow, but I love the blue too. So, and I would definitely carry this out, trust me. Now, the first thing that was in our bag was the Tarte Blush. Now, I got the Tarte Blush in the shade Feisty, which is the shade that I wanted. Not sure if you could see the color. I give y'all a close up, there you go. Okay, this is the shade that I wanted. It is the matte blush. I also kind of wanted to try the one that had, that looked like a highlighter. It basically looked like a highlighter blush to me. It did have, it was a shimmer blush, but I did really want to try that one. But this was the one that I really wanted because it is a matte blush and it does have a peachy tone color to it that matches my skin perfectly. I love this blush. There is no questions about it. This is something that I absolutely loved in my Ipsy. And the next thing that I got, guys, is the Skin Iceland the Berry Lip Fix with Wintered Red Algae. Now, this was the chapstick. Well, let it clear up there. This is the chapstick. I love this chapstick. It is it or it's a lip balm. I'm sorry. It's a lip balm and it's a it's got a very thick consistency, but it's not sticky. And I love it being that thick because it does stay on my lips all day long. It's kept them hydrated all day long. So yes, I do. I love this in the bag. Hey guys, the next thing that I got was this, the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers. Now, this is their little liquid lipstick. I think it's not considered a blush or a gloss or anything. And it is in the shade Lit. Guys, this I love. I love for the middle of the pout. And if you can see, I'm wearing it today. I do love it putting this on my pout. But as far as it going all over the lips, I didn't really like it. It was just too in your face, too bam. And I don't really like my lips like that. But as for using it on the pout, it worked great. The only problem I had with it is that the glitter did tend to just wear off. And it wore off within a couple of hours. So it does not have a long last time. But as for the shade and the feel of it, it dries down fast. That was perfect. Guys, now for the next item was the It Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. It's got SPF of 50 plus. Well, if I can get it to where you can see it, there we go. This, guys, I fell in love with this. Let me tell you, this works better than most of my foundations that I've got. I have been using this every day since I got it as a foundation. Not under my foundation or anything like that. I have been using this for a foundation. It is full coverage. It blends beautifully. It wears beautifully. Lasting time is awesome on this, guys, and the coverage. I just cannot get over the coverage of this. I will be purchasing a bigger size of this. This was the exact right shade for me also. Next product that we're going to talk about is a thumbs down for me. I didn't really like this product. It is the Naked Cosmetics. This is their loose powdered eyeshadow and it is in Mother Nature. If you could see it. Now this does have a purplish tint to it. It is a loose powdered eyeshadow. I love the feel of it. It is very smooth and it was very easy to put on, but once you start blending, it just went right away. So as for this, I did not like this, but instead of buying this, guys, I found another eyeshadow that I have that matches this perfectly and I will insert pictures of a side-by-side -side so you can see the color similarities in these two and one of them is actually from Wet n Wild. It is actually the Comfort Zone Palette in Wet n Wild 
and it is the shade all the way to the bottom to the left if you can see it right there this shade is a perfect match for that and like i said i will insert a picture of that side by side so you could get this one instead of this one because this one does blend away guys sorry to say the last thing that i got in my bag and not everybody got this because I did get this with my points, but I figured since I did get it in my November bag, I figured I'd go ahead and tell you all about it anyways. It is the Lancome Paris, the Hypnose Drama Instant Volume Mascara. This, guys, I have found another great mascara. Now, it's not hard for me not to like a mascara. There's only a couple of them that I don't agree with and I, I don't really like. This one, I love it. And I don't have to use but one coat of this, guys. I really like it. And if they still have it in Etsy, I'm not exactly sure. Or if you get a chance to buy this, it's a really awesome mascara. The brush is so, it, it's so weird looking, but it, it's an awesome brush, guys. Look at that. Do you see how funny the brush is? But it just gets my lower lash line perfect. And like I said, you only need one coat of it. So I really did love that about it. That's it for this video. Stay tuned. I've got a few more exciting videos coming out for y'all to see. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I love you all. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.